Hey everyone, it's Catherine with Park Hopper Daily, back with a Daily Dish Home Edition. As many of you know, I've begun cooking my way through Pam Brandon's Delicious Disney, a beautiful cookbook featuring recipes from the parks and resorts and even the Disney Cruise Line. After a couple very involved and deliciously heavy dishes, I took a few weeks off to escape on a vacation, potentially visiting a mouse or two, but I'm back this week and I'm gonna tackle something a little lighter, the murky mojito from Trader Sam's. Trader Sam's originally opened at the Disneyland Hotel at the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim in 2011. The Tiki Bar would also come to Orlando in the form of Trader Sam's Grog Grotto at the Polynesian Village Resort. The bars are themed after the Jungle Cruise, and while that attraction is being updated, Trader Sam himself has been removed from the Orlando attraction. It is our understanding there are no plans to change these beloved Tiki Bars, an excellent watering hole for parents at the end of a long Disney day. Both tiki bars on the east and west coasts offer an immersive experience that includes animatronics, hijinks, amazing cast members, and of course, specialty beverages. So let's get right to this. First, you're gonna gather your ingredients, which includes between eight to 10 mint leaves. You'll need some more for garnish, lime juice, Gosling's 151 rum, agave nectar, and Angostura bitters. Muddle your mint leaves and an ounce of lime juice in your glass. Add crushed ice, an ounce and a half of rum, and mix with a swizzle stick. Top with more crushed ice and four to five dashes of bitters. Garnish with your mint and enjoy. This is not an overly sweet cocktail thanks to the bitters, which is a great and traditional topping for a lot of rum-based drinks in the Caribbean, or Caribbean if we are at Disney. Have you visited Trader Sam's and enjoyed a murky mojito? I know they're closed on both coasts right now. I can't wait for them to reopen. What dishes do you want me to tackle next? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking of this so far. As always, this is Catherine Manu for Park Hopper Daily, and we will see you real soon.